<laughs> oh my god, what's Walken doing? He's reading a book, but what I love about this is he's all hunched over the book, peering right into it, mouthing out the words very slowly, one at a time. There's almost too many jokes that I can make out of this. He's so intent on the book, he's blocked everything out. He didn't even notice me. <laughs> See, Dick. See, Dick, run. Run, Dick, run. And it was at that moment they knew that they were no longer little girls. No, they were little women. No, wait, I got it, I got it. Would you eat them in a box? Would you eat them with a fox? I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam I am. Any luck identifying the murder weapon yet? I will guess that it's a knife. <laughs> Farley says that hasn't been established. Says you don't know what the murder weapon is. That fat fuck has a lot of crazy <laughs> theories. It's not rocket science. These people were butchered. You can't slice bacon with a baseball bat. Actually, don't you slice bacon with one of those meat carver machines you see at the deli? You notice anything fishy about Burton? Like what? Like the fact that she's dragging her feet on treating Catherine. Now you're a cyber surgeon, huh? Why aren't you investigating her? What makes you so sure I'm not? Now what was I? Call me Ishmael. Did you know that Falcon Eddie and Burton were married? Yeah, so? So why didn't you tell me? It's not relevant to the case. Well, the fuck it's not. One of those could be the Ripper. Look, I'm not an idiot. I read your partner's notes. As far as you penheads are concerned, I'm a suspect. About three things I was absolutely positive. First, Edward was a vampire. Second, there was a part of him, and I didn't know how potent that part might be. I thirsted for my blood. And third, I was unconditionally and irrevocably in love with him. Why didn't you tell me about the web runners? What are you talking about? Your past. Your involvement with the web runners. The fact that you're an ace decker. The fact that you've known Burton and Falconetti for years. I mean, you're all connected. I'm supposed to think there's nothing to this? If you're making an accusation, swear out a complaint. Why? So you can lift some more evidence? You're walking on thin ice, Quinna. If it cracks, ain't nobody gonna hear you scream when you go on the... Wait, wait, wait. Are you trying to warn me that the ice, it's gonna break? Dead zone, yeah. Why didn't you tell me about your affair with Burton? What makes you think I have to tell you anything? Let's just say, what I give you are pennies from heaven. Oh, so you were playing God when you tried to break up Burton's marriage to Falcon Eddie. The plot thickens, Magnata. You just crossed the line. Ask your buddy Falcon Eddie what it's like to be my enemy. A pissed off cop can screw your life up in so many ways. Quinlan, the guy is directly threatening you and confessing to a frame job he did in the past. Why are you not tape recording this? When are you gonna put this ripper case to bed, Magnata? A person can wonder. Well, wonder away, asshole. <laughs> the wheels of justice may grind slowly, but they're moving. They're moving. Get yourself caught in those wheels, Quinlan. You'll be in a lot of pain. Although, I admit, the wheels of justice are gonna move a lot slower until I finish reading this odd Thomas novel. It's fantastic. Hey, check it out. My mom sent me a gift card from Borders. Another goddamn security card. If that lazy schmuck Brandon will do his job. Quinlan, I thought I threw you out. Now get the fuck out of here. Yeah, Quinlan, get out of here. I gotta finish reading my book. It's called Watership Down. It's about these rabbits, and they're fighting each other, and there's this really crazy one called Fiverr. Love that guy. Get off the table. What's this all about? It's about catching a killer. Seems like he's been under my nose all along. <laughs> you really are crazy. Well, not really. I mean, he did catch you red-handed and red-faced and, well, basically wearing Farley. I want to know how you did it. How you killed them. What are you high on, Magnata? I want to know how you oh. did it. <sighs> ah, shit! I'm gonna fucking have your badge for this. I know all about pressure points. You better talk, Quinlan, or I'll pull my own finger off. I swear to God I'll do it. Not that I give a damn. Whether I mark you up or not. Uh, do I have the right to an attorney, or... Oh, you are fucking losing it, Magnata. And when I run this story, everybody's gonna start thinking that you're the Ripper. You're the one. You're the one. Getting mystery messages from the Ripper. You're the one. <laughs> With power when she's attacked. You're the last person Stephanie Jordan contacts. You're with Farley when he's killed. How come the Ripper communicates only with you? I'm a writer, asshole. 
If you ask me, it looks like the Ripper's a sick fuck of a muckraker who can't tell the difference between a pen and a blade. One cuts checks, the other cuts cheese. When I told you that before Farley was killed, he told me that the weapon is in cyberspace. That means that the killer could rip you apart and be sipping coffee in a cafe a thousand miles away. You dirty. <laughs> ah, shit! How are you going to explain this, Magnata? By threatening people. Huh? See? Okay. Oh, fuck. <laughs> what in the hell? Oh, jeez, I'm sorry, dude. Clearly you're not the Ripper. I don't know how I could have mistaken you for a knife-wielding psychopath. Self-defense, man. I mean, why'd you hit me, Quinlan? What are you, stupid? Hitting a cop? With a knife while handcuffed? I'm smear you all over the front page tomorrow, you sick fucking bastard. Now let me out of here. You got nothing on me. Or you'd arrest me by now. <laughs> Actually, they got about 60 pounds of Farley on him. You could walk. Wait, what? For now. But I'm on to you. You hear me? You're crazy. I'm gonna hear you confess before this is over. It's a matter of time. Now get out of here. Don't trip. What's the way out? Wouldn't want you to hurt yourself. Yeah, good advice coming from the guy who just maimed himself for no reason with a Klingon war knife.